us now. Hello, and welcome to our next episode of Technically Speaking. I have a very special guest today from my team, Tesliam Twinamani. Would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. Uh, so I'm Tesliam Twinamani. I uh, am an application engineer at Uncork. I've been here for nearly a year and a half. Um, I work with our clients uh, for our finance vertical, and I'm very happy to be here. Great. And as Tesliam said, she's on my team, which is great. And how did you hear about Uncork? Because that's um, going to drive us into our topic. Absolutely. So I heard about Uncork about a year and a half ago when I started. <laughs> um, I had been in a transition period from my previous uh a job as a front end engineer for a meal kit delivery company. Um, and I was kind of at a point in my transition where I was kind of questioning whether or not I even wanted to pursue tech anymore. Um, and in this headspace, I was on LinkedIn and I saw that um, our VP of diversity, equity, and inclusion, uh, Netta Jenkins, was she posted about the DEI Tech Trek program on her LinkedIn. I had been following her for a couple of years, just following her work in that space. And I figured I'd just give it a shot. I didn't have any, um, like I didn't get my hopes up, but I just wanted to see what would happen. And I applied. And not 30 minutes later, I heard back from the program asking me if I was interested in joining. And yeah, the rest is history. <laughs> that is very typical on Quark. That yeah. point, we do not move slowly when we do what we want. I was actually kind of shocked. I was like, wow, that was like really fast. <laughs> <laughs> and you mentioned in their tech track. What yeah. is tech track? So the DI tech track program is a three week intensive program uh, that seeks to um, introduce people from otherwise overlooked communities into the tech industry um, by giving them the skills to pursue a career with Uncork on their no-code platform. And what was your experience like from the moment you got that email that you were accepted in? What did it look like for you to be part of TechTrack? So this is actually like one of my favorite stories actually. Um, so I do have a background in traditional coding. So I thought this would be very simple, <laughs> like easy peasy, three weeks, just gonna breeze by. It was, it, it's intense. <laughs> so, um, and it was very rewarding. Um, I'm so used to, or at the time I was really used to just writing everything out in code, like mostly JavaScript or React or something like that. Using a no-code platform is a completely different animal, and it took some time for me personally to get out of this headspace of doing things a bit more difficult. Like uh, the Uncork platform was not, it wasn't crazy hard, but it was different. So it definitely took me some time to get into this different way of thinking, this different way of building. Um, so those three weeks were quite intense for me, um, but it was also really reward rewarding. I met some really amazing people. Um, the uh, the mentors and people who helped us and taught us the Uncork platform were incredibly helpful, and you know they were easily like you could talk to them about your concerns and things like that. So while it was challenging, it was. Uh, a very unique experience from other things outside of uh, no code that I've ever experienced. That's great. I mean, I think anyone who's been through our Uncork bootcamp can can give you testament to that it is intense. There's a lot of material, and we're changing the way that you think about developing. Right? We're still keeping some of those principles, but we are changing kind of the the tools in your tool belt. Yeah, absolutely. And outside of just getting this job, what impact has Uncork's DEI Tech Track program had on your life overall? Well, um, it took me 
the the tech track actually changed the trajectory of my life. Honestly, um, I was like I said earlier, I was in a transitional space. 2020 was not a great year for anyone. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to speak for everyone, but it kind of sucked. So, um, so it was very hard. Uh, searching for jobs was hard. Feeling confident in my abilities was hard. Um, I feel like the DEI program really helped me regain some of that confidence that I had lost in that time before I joined the team. Um, it made me realize that um, I can solve complex issues. And if I can't solve them, I have a team, a dedicated team that I can lean on that will help me through it. Um, it's not really like other programs that I've experienced before, to be honest. Like I felt that support and I feel like um, it really changed the way I view uh, solving issues and how I look at them. Um, and it gave me the confidence to ask for help, which um, I think is incredibly important for any engineer to Absolutely. just, yeah. And just breaking, <laughs> I've said it on this channel many times, breaking down big problems and figuring out what it is that you don't know is probably the hardest part that we have in any type of development. So knowing that you've got a team behind you, you've got trainers who are willing to help, you've got mentors um, that wanna jump in is really, really great. And you, you mentioned a few of these, um, but what do you feel set this program apart from other DEI programs or hiring programs that you've participated in? Well, the one uh, thing that sets this program apart from others is in my opinion, is um, the follow through. So a lot of programs out there may say what their mission is, but you don't really feel it and there's no action behind it. With the DEI Tech Track program here at Uncork, you can definitely feel that they want you succeed. Um, they wanna see you progress. They wanna see you learn the platform because that's like the whole point. <laughs> like we want people to transition out of this idea of traditional code and seeing that the, the possibilities that no code actually has. Um, so that that energy is behind it, especially during the tech track program. Um, so I would say the mentorship that I received, um, the, the, the pep talks even, you know, I, I'll be honest, like during that program, I really questioned whether or not I could do it. And Netta and Abby were like, girl, like you can do this. <laughs> like we got your back. We want you to win. We want you to succeed and we want you in this. So even just talking to them, like, I don't think I can say that I had that kind of experience in other programs. Like they actually care. And so I feel like that sets the program apart from other programs that I've heard of or participated in. It's just, I feel like the people that work here, the people that uh, support you, they really care. Um, I think that's the most important thing. We do, we do. <laughs> um, and if you could give any advice to somebody interested in participating in future cohorts of our Uncork Tech Track, what do you think that would be? Um, so some advice that I would give is, number one, I really believe that you should trust the process. Um, it's intense, but there's a method to the intensity. Like, um, so trust that, trust in that. Um, and also trust yourself. So when you enter this program, it's because they see that you have what it takes. So you have to trust in yourself and in your abilities to do it. Um, sometimes you'll question yourself. I definitely have. Um, again, I don't want to speak for other people, but I definitely questioned my abilities <laughs> as a coder, as a, you know, as a student. Um, but you really have to find that trust in yourself that you can do it because it's really what's going to get you through it. Um, and, you know, if you're feeling overwhelmed, if you're feeling less confident, I really do suggest leaning on your 
uh, fellow classmates or your mentors, just reaching out to the people who are running the program and want to get you to where you need to be. Um, don't keep anything to yourself. Don't try and figure it out on your own. A lot of us like to do that. Um, lean in, you know, really uh, accept that support and accept that, you know, you know, that genuine feeling of wanting to succeed. Like they want you to, they want you to do it. Like at the end of it all, like that's the goal. So trust in that. And um, another final piece of advice would be to have fun with it. <laughs> you know, it's it's intense, but it's fun. Like I really enjoy code, uh, building an Unquirk. It's a lot of fun for me. And I get a lot of satisfaction in seeing like the applications that I've built over the year and a half that I've been here. Um, I really enjoy my job. So yeah. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for sharing with us. I know there were a lot of um, vulnerable pieces of this and sharing about how you got to Uncork. So I appreciate it. Thank you again, Taz. We will be back one more time this year, next Friday, same time, doing a little year in review um, with Danny. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.